ever wished you had more time for the relaxing things in your life? What if you could free yourself from some of the time spent cleaning by using a robot vacuum and mop? I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and the Yeedy Vac Station is a compact, all-in-one vacuuming and mopping robot that will also empty its own onboard dustbin into a sealed vacuum bag when it's full. In short, this is a full-service floor cleaning robot with all the features you expect from and get in high-end robots like Roombas, but this is all in one nice package and for one affordable price. Yidi is sponsoring this post and I'd like to say thank you to them for supporting the blog and the YouTube channel. Even so, Yidi has not told me what I have to say or what I can't say in this video, so consider these opinions my own. Let's take a look at what you get. Inside the box, you'll find the dual vacuum and mopping Yeedy robot, the charging station and auto emptying station base. You'll also get a corner brush, mopping plate and reusable fabric cloth, plus two vacuum bags. One of them will be installed in the disposal unit. There's also a charging cord and a ramp extension if your robot will be docked on carpet. Let's take a look at and underneath this robot. Inside the top lid is the onboard dustbin, but with this bot you'll probably never need to touch it since it empties itself. In the back is the water tank and the mopping plate clicks on underneath the front. Underneath there's also a roller brush and a corner brush. The Yeedy Vac Station is a very smart robot. When you first get it, it's going to go out and go all over your home and then generate a map of your house specifically. Now this may take a few days or several passes, but soon enough you'll have a very detailed map of your space. You can then label that map so that you can use room specific cleaning. We'll get to more on that in just a couple of minutes. The Yeedy Vac Station uses what's called Visual SLAM, which stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. This essentially uses a small camera to map and define specific areas in your house and to learn the pathways around them for smarter cleaning. The Yeedy Vac Station has advanced floor type detection. This technology instantly identifies your floor type and then can adapt to just the right cleaning method required. It'll increase suction power when it finds itself on carpets, for example. And speaking of the suction, the vacuum uses up to 3,000 pascals of suction power, and you can actually adjust the suction power from low and quiet up to super powerful right inside the Yeedy app. I will point out that 3,000 pascals is actually higher than a lot of other similar vacuuming robots. Despite extremely high suction power, the Yeedy here is not too loud. In my opinion, the noise level is more than reasonable. Sometimes you're too busy to remember to push the button and send your robot out to sweep or mop. That's why scheduling your cleanings is a great idea. Using the simple interface in the free Yeedy app, you can set up regular cleanings or assign certain rooms to be cleaned on certain days or give high traffic areas a daily once over. The Yeedy Vac Station robot has a 200 minute runtime, which is also substantially longer than the competition. With some of the more expensive floor cleaning robots, you need a separate vacuum and separate mopping bot in order to get your floors truly clean. With the Yeedy Vac Station here, the mopping technology is actually built right into the vacuum, meaning this device can both sweep and mop your floors all at the same time. With an integrated carpet detector, the Yeedy Vac Station bot will avoid mopping when carpet is recognized. That's key since you don't want soggy rugs. Let's actually take a closer look at the mopping. You'll fill the Yeedy Vac Station's small water tank and then click on the mopping plate. Mopping plate has been installed. When your robot heads out, it will lightly wipe the floors, cleaning up things like dusty paw prints or daily dust and dirt accumulation. For some, it may be worth noting that a robot mop like the Yeedy here is meant to give your home a light mopping wipe. This is not meant to clean up large or viscous messes. Let's take a look at how the Yeedy Vac Station vacuums and mops. I put all the robot vacuums and mops I test through the same paces. I have them work on vacuuming up things like fine flour, oatmeal, rice, and larger cracker pieces on both hard floors and on rugs. The Yeedy Vacuum seems to be able to tackle most any kind of debris and what it doesn't get in the first pass it gets in the next one. When it came to mopping, it was easy to see the mop at work. The water level is adjustable too, so you can get a deeper clean or a lighter wipe. 
The bot was easily able to handle the different types of floor surfaces in my space. I have carpet, rugs, tile, and hardwood, and it cleaned each one well and was able to navigate all the transitions in the house without getting stuck. I did have a few odd spots where the vacuum was getting stuck and it was usually underneath my sofa, but I was able to go into my own personalized map and create a no-go zone for that area. So after those first hangups, it wasn't an issue again. Normally, you really need to empty a robot vacuum's onboard dustbin after each cleaning, but with an auto-emptying station like the one on the Yeedy Vac station, you never have to touch the bin and shake dust back into the house. The bot vac will return to the dock to empty itself when it's full, and all the dirt and dust is stored in a vacuum bag. If you are a Google Home or Amazon Echo user, you can link your smart home devices to your robot and tell it when and where to start cleaning. Now, you might also be wondering how Yeedy Vac Station here compares to other bots, say something like iRobot's Roomba. For starters, this all-in-one bot means you don't need to pay for two floor cleaning robots, one to sweep and one for mopping, as you do with iRobot devices. When compared to the iRobot i3 Plus, for example, let's see how else they stack up. The i3 Plus doesn't have smart mapping, it doesn't have carpet avoidance, and the suction power of the i3 Plus is only 1800 pascals, while the Yeedy Vac Station is 3000. The i3 Plus doesn't offer customized zone or area cleaning either, like the Yeedy does. Overall, this is a really impressive vacuum at an even more impressive price. When you consider that comparing this to something like iRobot's lineup, where you'll be paying almost $2,000 to get this much cleaning power, the $499 US price of the Yeedy Vac Station is an absolute steal as far as I'm concerned. I've been really enjoying what this bot can do in my house. It definitely frees me up to have more fun, relax, and simply enjoy life more. If you want to read more about the Yeedy Vac Station here, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up posted. You can, of course, ask me any questions you have either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.